morning we had a perfectly smooth departure. We sailed off the anchor, um, which is very satisfying. You feel very sailboaty when you do that. <laughs> and uh, ripping down the channel because the tide was coming in, and then we had to make our turn the ICW, and we're into a headwind now. So unfortunately, we're not sailing. We're motor sailing, which is just a term that sailboaters use to feel kind of good about themselves. <laughs> Let me, uh, let me set this back down on it. Okay. Then we'll bring in about half of that, like five meters. Yeah. Set the snubber and then let it out. Okay. Well, we're here at a beautiful anchorage, but before we explore, I'm gonna do some boat projects. So when we sailed down here, the rudder quadrant was leaking a bit of water. So I need to pull apart the quadrant and repack it. So she's holding the rudder now that there's no stops because we're in a rolly anchorage. And now I can remove this nut and some safety wire and we'll go from there. How'd that go? You want to see? Yeah. Got everything totally dry and Sweet. cleaned, so it's not all gross. And we will see on our next sail if it stays dry. Looks good. Yeah. Good news is no water got in our battery box. So That's close. I know. So our <laughs> power system is still fine. Yeah, even though if it does get in there, it does actually drain down. Everything should be okay in worst case. But uh, yeah, we're good. So hopefully, hopefully it fixes it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really don't know. How many do times have you done this? This is the third time. Okay. I'm, I'm getting a lot better. Uh, and this time, like I, the way I cut the stuffing was like in a diagonal and I think it makes much better contact. And the stuffing was properly sized. I think I had undersized stuffing before and then the first time I had oversized stuffing. So, knock on wood, touch wood, whatever the hell people say. <laughs> Let's hope this works. Hell yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Oh my gosh. Cheers. I have to open mm. your beer. Ah. It looks like we're already in the Bahamas. We're not in the Bahamas. Nope. We're in... Peck Lake. Yeah, but what's that close to? Yes. South of St. Lucie, north of Jupiter. Jupiter. Yeah. That's it. Just off the ICW. And so our panda boat is just anchored out yonder. Nice anchorage here in Peck Lake. All right, goofball. Let's go explore this jungle. Ooh, nudity on the beach or in public is prohibited. Aww. Lame. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Hobe Sound. Hobie? Okay, Hobe? so we're in Hobe Sound. That's where we are. Between Stewart and Jupiter. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's the open oh. ocean. Whoa, that's like a whole beach to ourselves. Whoa, oh, this is gorgeous. Wow. Oh, that's the, uh,
What you got? I acquired a coconut. And? There are some coconuts that had fallen and we're going to see if we can get some of the juices out. We don't know if it's too old. We can still hear some water in it. We also have to YouTube how to hack this thing. We did bring a machete on our voyage because I thought I would get coconut. So. I think this is what you call learning by doing. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We'll figure it out. <laughs> figure it out. All right. First coconut. Tom Hanks had such a problem in Castaway. These things are a pain in the ass. I don't know what that part is. That is really dense though. There it is! There's some whiteness! I see the white! Oh! Darren! Flip it over! It's coming out! The juices are coming out! <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. Yeah? Yeah. Good? Yep. That's just like coconut. Oh. Oh, it's so fresh. Damn. I wish I didn't uh, <laughs> pack it up. There's so much floaty debris in there. So it looks like I see now how you're supposed to like get all this husk away first and then at the very end chop through that hard shell. Then you could drink it without getting a bunch of shit in there. Oh well. setting too, is it? Wait, what happened, Darren? Holy cow. We we're trying to leave that fuel dock and there was a, a power boat in front of us. We thought we'd be able to like, get our bow off in the wind and clear it. The wind just pushed us right back. But we both did really good at now like pushing the entire weight of Panda Boat past this motor boat and uh and those guys came out and helped push our boat clear too and oh, it's really hard is we have our solar arch in the back and that thing really sticks out when we turn we didn't touch anything totally clear apologize to those guys oh uh, that yeah. was super that was tough <laughs> yeah we should have just waited for them to leave that and then we would have had a much clearer approach and of course there would be nothing to hit if we did other than just the dock so uh, yeah, so lessons learned. Lessons learned, again. Okay. But that's gonna be our last docking experience for a long time. I hope so. shop and then Publix for provision run and I think that's it taxes at the coffee shop we need to download things we need to taxes and upload our third episode yeah everyone's like been looking for it we're going there. <laughs> All right, yeah third episode coming up
Cooper, back from Publix. Christopher, he is super nice. We run all our errands today, we feel very accomplished. And it's only like two in the afternoon, so maybe we'll have some time to chill. I hope so. Yep. So yeah, we had a bit of anxiety, at least I think we both did. Yeah. I don't know, I think just going, we've been on the boat for like a week and we haven't left it, so just leaving it, it makes us anxious. And then getting in like a busy city center and all the hustle and getting cars and Ubers, it's uh, a little overwhelming. Yeah. So I think it'll feel good when we have a beer and we're sitting on our boat again. Definitely. Still there. Found a load. We are waiting out the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. So technically, our tender isn't registered. In the state of Florida, if you put a motor on it, you're supposed to register it. We just haven't done that yet. So there was uh, there's a lot of like little patrol boats and oh my gosh. There's manatees. Oh my god! And there's just manatees, just hanging out right there. Anyway, uh, we're on Peanut Island. There's like beach party goers. There's a tiki bar floating tent thingy. And uh, and anyway, Johnny Law is heading way far south. So yeah. So now we can get back to our boat. Yeah. I mean, we have everything legal. We even have. Uh, PFDs or life preservers, life jackets on board. We have everything you need, just not numbers on the boat. So. Yes. Go. This Peanut Island Park is really nice. They have this paved walking trail and it's lit. What do you think so far? I like it. It's really peaceful. Especially since there's just uh, cargo loading boats over there, industrialism, and it's really a juxtaposition against that. It's beautiful here. A little secluded island. Amanda and I have determined that this industrial area gives us total anxiety. Yeah, it does. I don't know why. I can't look, like when we're on our boat, I can't look at that side. I have to look at the houses and the greenery, <laughs> like on the other side. Something about the big ships, like big industry, it's probably really intimidating, maybe us being on a little boat kind of close by. And it just, uh, oh, yeah. But on this side is like beautiful homes, so that's where we're gonna go check out. She's on a photography kick. I was thinking that it's weird, we're more like visitors to the land now. We're water-based creatures and we're just visiting the land. It feels nice to be stationary and have a comfortable spot to sit where you're not moving even though you think you're moving all the time. <laughs> That's so true. And I think also for our anxiety that we had yesterday leaving our boat, part of it was it was just really windy and kind of rough conditions. I think when today it's nice and calm, I think it calms our anxiety down as well. Yeah, it's like you get more in tune with nature and your emotions like level out with the wind. <laughs> Even though there's there's still a level of now constant, I think anxiety just no, about boat life. Yeah, but com compared to as, home, it's not as bad. We left the boat yesterday, like knowing that it was really rough. And right. That's the first time we've left our boat in those rough conditions. Right. It's not rough, but rough to us. <laughs> so I am looking forward to finally getting to. We're gonna sail to Biscayne Bay. It's in south of Miami. This place called No Name Harbor. It's a little famous for us because we tried to sail there our very first sail when we got the boat. And we were delayed with engine problems leaving the dock like first time. So we 
uh, ended up not going there. So it'd be kind of cool to actually like point our boat south and get yeah. there. Be pretty I'm neat. forward to a new anchorage and really just want to get to the Bahamas. So it just feels like we're constantly at this in between or this. <laughs> yeah, this purgatory just... between uh, leaving for our trip and then the Bahamas. Yeah, it, this is nice. Don't get me wrong, but I just yeah. feel like it's not it yet. We're still just doing the same thing, maybe just on a little vacation. Right. It's very annoying. I just want to be in the Bahamas already. Or know that I'm going to be there very soon. Yeah, we'll get there. Yeah. In the meantime, this doesn't suck. Everyone's in their cockpit enjoying the scene. Uh, yeah, and they could see my booty. Enjoying the scene. But, uh... But is right. Panda. 